Okay, that looks surprisingly good. I mean, can we? No, okay. Mm, mm, nee. mm, -mm. Happy New Year for everyone who hasn't seen one of my other videos. I hope you have a great one. And um, I'm checking in today with my lovely little Mickey ears and also my Epcot World Traveler kind of outfit situation because I'm going to Orlando and I thought for the first time I'm going in with a little bucket list and actually it's not a little bucket list it's a large bucket list and I will tell you all about this trip also in a very near future um, but unfortunately you have to subscribe in order to figure it out because um, this is not happening in this video in this video i'm sharing my uh bucket list items that i have put together and um it's quite a list i had to write it down i'm sorry old lady i have to write it down um so it's it's all on here together with other stuff and um yeah let's dive into it two sentences about this trip up front it's a longer trip so um we are talking uh three weeks at this point and also i will go to disney and to universal and i will also do other stuff i will start with my disney list and then i will start with a quite random other park situation stuff things I would like to do but let's start with the 10 things i would love to do in disney again for the first time so let's 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 go from there let's let's go from let's go from there i mean i do not have these ears on for nothing here right number one i finally would like to write tron i had not the chance to do it on my last trip which was in august if you have seen that um, check it out. I will link the playlist below. I put a little playlist together of my August and Halloween adventures in Disney World. And uh, yeah, so Tron is on, <laughs> it's like very high up on my bucket list because I would like to experience that ride. Number two, uh, yeah, I want to see the Moana walkthrough experience in Epcot. Also something that I uh, just saw from afar because it wasn't open when I was there in August. Um, but I have seen photos, of course, and I want to, I want to go there. So um, Epcot is my favorite park. If you couldn't um, already guess from my ears and my world traveler outfit um very apcotty and um i think that would be um i'm so happy that apcot is uh coming out of its construction era and going into a new me and a new beautiful era so yeah i cannot wait i also figured out just now that um this bucket list is very epcot heavy for one reason because number three is another epcot bucket list i want to try a lot more food or festival of the arts this time uh last time um when i went i just had very limited time because i was on a disney cruise um if you want to see videos there are some at least um they are basically in the dawn and beginning of this channel um and they also look like the dawn and the beginning of this channel but um there are videos um but yeah i would love to just do more festival of the arts farts stuff and um, eat the food and i also would like to buy um, at least one piece of art um, because this gives me so much joy and um, if i see all these amazing art pieces they are just so great so this is this is for sure on my bucket list another bucket list that is epcot related is i finally want to try out the quick service in the japan pavilion why did i never try out this quick service i love japanese food i am always getting the sushi donut um, at this little cart at the uh, japan pavilion but i wasn't even aware there is a quick service restaurant um, i always only make it into the shop 
which is amazing um and then to the cart but i never made it like back there where there is the quick service so trying out what is it called um yeah exactly that one the quick service in the japan pavilion that is on my bucket list great um number five. Oh, this is a fun one because finally 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 we do not have park reservations and park hopping is possible at any time of the day and i would love to do a four parks in one day thing um i will die afterwards don't get me wrong right the next day you will find me at the pool and i'm not moving I'm just eating and drinking i'm not moving um but i would love to do the four parks one day uh challenge and um i cannot wait because now after years and years and years it's again possible to do so number oh number six <laughs> we're back in Epcot. i want to try the space 220 launch um I don't want to try the restaurant I don't don't get me wrong I think it looks amazing but I heard very mixed reviews about the food um, and I'm not willing to spend um, that amount of money um, for food that is just not great um, I got a reservation for um, the space lounge and I will have a fancy nice drink there and I will soak up the atmosphere and um, again I will share everything with you but um, yeah this is for sure on my bucket list. A next dining bucket list and I managed to get a reservation is the storybook dining with Snow White and the Evil Queen and the Dwarfs at Wilderness Lodge. I've been looking at this um, dining experience for quite some time. Uh, on my last trip I was super late to the party because it was a last minute trip and I uh, didn't do any dining reservations. Um, the trip before I only had a couple of days because Disney Cruise was done and um, I didn't do any dining reservations but this is the trip where I have plenty of time and can experience some dining and storybook dining is one of them. Another one that I was able to get um, a reservation um, is the breakfast at Topolino's Terrace. Uh, I mean everyone is just raving about this breakfast and I um, I want to have a look around the Riviera Resort. I uh, love the Caribbean Beach Resort which is basically um, next door and um, I got a reservation for this breakfast experience um and i cannot wait because um everyone is saying the character interactions are so good and um the food is so good so i'm looking so forward to that and um this is something i'm finally trying out and then the last dining experience that i had on my kind of ticket off my bucket list uh, for quite some time because i never was able to get a reservation and this time i did um is homecoming in disney springs i want to have this bloody moonshine flight um i want to get tipsy i want to eat all the food and i probably need to take a lot of food back with me home because the portions are just crazy um and i cannot eat that much but i will not care and i um yeah i'm just looking forward because um i heard great things um lately i also heard not so great things but um yeah i want to try it out for myself and i wanted to do that for a very long time here we go i'm going to chef arts homecoming um and i'm very happy about that and that is on my bucket list and funnily enough i think this is everything for now on my disney bucket list um because i have done a lot of stuff already at disney um so it's very it's very food centric at this point um which might change in the next trip but here we go um and we are moving on to um other things i want to do and um i have two big things i want to do at universal because for the first time i will be there when uh universal has its 
Mardi Gras festivities and I want to see the Mardi Gras parade um, for the first time in my life. I just, I just want to be there. I also want to eat all the food because there is also food. Um, but um, the main bucket list is I want to see the parade. And the second, and this is an even bigger bucket list item is I want to be on one of those parade floats and throw the beads. This is, um, this is just something I want, I want to do. Um, and I will do it. I'm uh, affirming I will do it, right? Uh, stay tuned, subscribe. I will do it. You can count on me. I will be on one of those parade floats and I will throw the beads. I cannot wait. It will be so much fun. I just cannot wait. Absolutely cannot wait. I'm so excited for this trip already. I cannot. I cannot even. I, I cannot even. Um, yeah, the next point on my bucket list is I finally would like to go back to Kennedy Space Center. Um, it's only a one and a half hour drive from Orlando. I will have a rental car. Um, I will have the flexibility and I want to go there and I can tell you my mom already called me and she ordered a t-shirt uh, from the NASA thingy. Um, that is the Kennedy Space Space Center so I will go there and I also will buy a t-shirt for my mom and probably also for myself because I was there um, the last time in 2017 on a trip where I was um, there together with my mom and um, yeah I haven't been there since and um, I think it's good fun and it will be a great day and maybe if I have time I will also check out Coco Beach afterwards um, but we see how that is going but I'm planning on on going back to Kennedy Space Center Yay! <laughs> more eating of course I would like to go to the Orlando Cat Cafe this is so random. I would like to go to the Orlando Cat Cafe. There is a cat cafe in Orlando and you can go there and I want to go there because I love cats and I have two I have two cats and I um yeah, I just I want there and you can make reservations up front and this is what I'm going to do. So um yeah, I would like to go to the Orlando Cat Cafe. And then the last bucket list item on my um 2024 uh, January February early in the year Orlando trip situation is I want to eat in the Cheesecake Factory so <laughs> I've never been to the Cheesecake Factory and um, I mean one meal has enough calories um, for a whole week I'm fully aware of that um, but I also feel you have to do it once um, and then you can, uh, you know, nourish from the experience for a very long time and probably feel very sick because you eat way too much. But um, this is on my bucket list and uh, it will happen this trip, hopefully. So there you have it. This is my bucket list for the trip. Um, the trip is starting again very soon. I cannot wait. It will be absolutely epic. So much fun stuff is happening. I will fill you in everything that I'm planning to do. Um, you cannot even you cannot even imagine. Please subscribe, push the notification bell because um, you will be then updated on any new video I'm uploading. I will start the vlog series as soon as possible. And until then, I will see you real soon. Bye. <music>